Hey everyone, this is Ross and today I'm going to be feeding my fish potatoes. Um, I feed the fish upstairs potatoes about once a week just to keep them healthy. And I'm trying to get the Cory cats to breed out in a minute so I vary the diet, I give them bloodworms, potatoes, different foods. Um, and also the auto catfish um, aren't touching any cucumber for some reason and I haven't ate any food since I've had them in. I've only been eating algae so I need I need to eat something. So I'm gonna try a potato with them today. Um, but first of all I just want to tell you actually how to cook potatoes for fish. Um, this is just how I cook them. Um, let's fill a pan about half full with um, tap water and then cut one potato up into a few small slices. Um, the thinner the slices the faster it is for them to cook. So if you put a whole potato in a pan it's going to take quite a while but if you kind of cut it up into slices then it's not going to take as long so I put them on a high gas very high gas uh, in thin slices for 15 minutes and that softens them that softens them up enough for the shrimp to eat them for the cory cats to eat them so yeah just uh, chop them up very thin and put them on a high gas for uh, about 15 minutes and I'll come back once they're done. Right, so they've been boiling for about 15 minutes now and um, when you prod them with a knife they're very soft, the knife just sinks in and that's the that's how soft you want them to be um, soft enough for fish to kind of eat them and shrimp so uh, yeah they're pretty much ready to put in the tank but first of all I need to rinse them under the cold tap just to kind of cool them down and I can throw them in um, I get lots of people asking uh, do you need to use organic potatoes? No, you don't need to use organic potatoes. These aren't organic. Uh, as long as you wash them well before you boil them, then they should be fine. Even a few fertilizers isn't going to kill fish. Um, so yeah, I'll just run them under the cold tap and I'll show you once I've got them in. Right, so I've put two potatoes in the 15 gallon. And as you can see, the Corys absolutely love them and the corn stay off them. Um, the reason why I put two potatoes in this tank is because there was a little too much competition for the actual potatoes. Um, the shrimp absolutely love potatoes. There's one waiting on that java fern to kind of swim down and eat some. But uh, what I found when I only put one potato in the cory cats were kind of fighting with the shrimp. I mean they weren't like attacking each other but the cory cats were kind of they were too pushy for the shrimp and the shrimps were getting quite distressed and they'd swim away as you can see there's a shrimp right there waiting to come down on the potato but sometimes it can get a bit scared as you can see it's swimming away because there's just too many fish around this area so what I do is I put two in to kind of reduce the amount of competition um, as you can see there's a shrimp and there's a shrimp down there as well so at least the shrimp can get something you know because um, if you only have one potato in and it's mobbed with fish then often the shrimps and the cardinal tetras don't really get a look in so yeah it's it's worth having two potatoes in your tank so all of the fish and animals in your tank can actually get something see the shrimp just got pushed away by the cory cat and it's backing away so yeah it's important to kind of put two two food sources in so there's less competition for them um, another question that people ask us regarding potatoes is if they can leave the skin on. Um, you can do what you like. I mean, fish aren't picky in terms of leaving the skin on. Um, I just leave it on and the fish eat it. As you can see, that cory cat's enjoying it. And uh, even the sword deal comes down for a, a bite or two. Um, the cardinals occasionally come down. Um, it's quite funny to see them eat because they kind of dart down. It's really funny. Um, but after a few minutes, the curry cats kind of have the fill, and then they just go back into all the plants. So yeah, um, it's good if you want to get corys to breed. Feed them on bloodworms and potatoes if you want to get them to breed. So um, the potatoes have been in the fighting fish tank for about 10 minutes now. And as you can see, there's a little auto catfish on the glass there. And they're actually not taking much notice of the potatoes. So I don't know what's going on with them. Maybe they just like to eat algae. I've tried lettuce, I've tried cucumber. 
and I've tried potatoes now and they're not touching it. So I'm going to leave it in overnight and I'm going to see if um, if they touch it. But if I don't then I might have to buy some algae wafers or something else. Um, or I might have to move them into the 15 gallon. Because um, this tank is actually run now. The algae on the glass is hardly any algae on the glass at all. Um, there's this string algae but they don't actually eat that string algae stuff. So yeah, I might have to move them in a 15 gallon, because that's got lots of algae for them. Um, or if I actually eat this potato, then I'll just keep them in here, but um, it's kind of worrying us that they're not eating too much. Maybe I've just got to try and get them into a routine. But as I said, I'll leave, I'll leave it in overnight, and I'll see how it goes. Uh, also, the fighting fish has been fine with these auto catfish. It hasn't been touching them. As you can see, he's just chilling. And he just kind of stays away from them now. He doesn't seem to get aggressive towards them. And actually, he's eating some of that potatoes. Um, and he's actually a carnivore, so I don't know why he's eating it, but um, I don't think it can do anything bad to him. It's probably helping them, because I heard you can feed them peas when they're constipated. So, um, yeah, I suppose the potatoes doing them some good. He seems alright. But, um, there's not little catfish on the side there, too. So that might go for the potato. We'll see. Right, so that's all I really had to say. I just told you a bit about feeding uh, potatoes to fish. I'll just give you an update. So if you like this vid, please leave a comment, like it, and subscribe. It'd help a lot if you liked it, because it um, moves my videos higher in the main list, so it's nice. Right, so that's it. Bye.